Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, about uh, collection view control, picker control and table uh, control. So these are also a uh, collection uh, uh, collection of controls. So you can uh, take first of all uh, collection view control. In the last video you have to see uh, cursor view and the list view. So just you can take the same example with the collection view control so here we have a collection view control and you can see that the same item uh, appear in the collection view that is already discussed in the list view as well as cars view the item source type is the string array of the string so the collection view dot item source is array x array type equals to x colon string and here we have a string type array and uh, in the item source we have a item template like uh, I, in the item source we have a item template so item source property only the uh, one property is item source property and then second one is item template property and in item template we have a data template and the stack layout and in the frame we have margin horizontal option is center vertical option is center height, uh, height request 100 hash shadows true corner radius is 5 and border color is red so the simple uh, frame appear in the uh, stack layout ok so a stack layout have a frame inside a label control sorry a label inside a frame control so uh, border color and corner radius is 5 as shadow ok so if you want to take the height request as well as width request so just you can take width request is 100, 200 and 200 that is the square box okay so the save this and run it in the your uh, pixel 5 so just again you have to check in the list view if you compare the collection view list view and the cursor view in the cursor view we have only a data template in uh, data template and the item source there there is a sim similar thing in the cursor view dot item source and the list view is also a similar item source and item template but you can see in the uh, list view we have a data template um, a view cell inside a data template ok in the list view but uh, collection view is similar with the console view there is a no view cell inside a data template ok the um, other thing is similar so you can see the output with the collection view so wait for some times to uh, run uh, this project in emulator so you can check again there is the collection view and lots of property uh, we will uh, later discuss about the collection view control like the um, item source is also defined it uh, inside it here okay uh, there is the uh, you can say that, uh, that is the dynamic uh, resources and uh, update uh, item updating scroll mod is also there we, we have the keep items in view keep last item views keep scroll offset there is a lots of properties inside a collection view as well as the list view and the cursor view we will discuss later only the overview of the collection view control there is so the output of the collection view control is similar like the list view control so here we have a android windows mac and unix and you can see okay so this is the collection view control and the next one is the picker control so just to stop this and comment the collection view control okay so the next one is the picker control so about the picker control you know that it's like a select list or you can say that the drop down list uh, in dotnet movie so here we have a picker control so picker dot item source and picker dot item template but uh, you can see that only have a item uh, source property in the picker control there is a no item template inside it inside in the picker control only the item source property and picker control is automatically uh, automatically show that items in the drop down list or the select list you can say so you can see the output uh, of the picker control the because the item source property is the similar looking like you can see in the collection view this view and the cursor view so x type is a string and the array of the string you can see so the item source property is clear 
now the if we can set that picker dot item there is a no item template property inside in the picker controller so later on i will discuss all these properties one by one so uh, just check the output of the picker control first of all so this is the output of the picker control when we click on the upper side that is not visible actually but uh, when you click uh, in the upper side uh, corner of the of your emulator then you can see android windows mac and unix a list of the pop-ups so uh, if you set the background color of the picker control then you will see the output exactly so background color is green or red you can say so just save this and the output will show in the red color and click on the red uh, bar uh, and you will see that android windows mac and unix the same item will be show so this is the picker control and choose one item at a time in the picker control so the next one is the table so the next one is the uh, table view control so just first of all uh, to see the output of the table view first of all make the comment of the picker control and after that you can just you can see the table view uh, control example and here we have a table view inside a table view uh, have a one table root control you can see inside the table root you have a, a table sections like that so you can say that only table uh, only one table root uh, is uh, inside in the table view and the intent is that like uh, of the form type so you can say that in inside the table root content uh, you can take table section inside the table section you can take any other uh, tables uh, te text cell entry cell switch cell it's like a cell and each control which is included in movie so only table root is the single element in the table view and in the table section there is the element of the table root so the first element that is the table section the title is the first and the second one is the you can say that the second uh, table section so inside a table view we have a single table root and inside the table root we have table section multiple table sections so inside a table section you can take text cell entry cell switch cell image cell and lots of many more uh, uh, controls inside the table section so here we have a text cell like the text is this and detail is this and entry cell text and the label you can take and uh, switch that is the text image cell that is text detail and image source okay similarly we have the second the same uh, you can take text cell entry cell switch cell and uh, this is the image cell so text detail and image source okay so uh, i think this is the fine in the table view section you can see in the table view that is the table root table section and table section have the multiple control you can take uh, with the form of cell so just save this and you can if, if it is yeah it is fine so here we have a first table cell there is and the, there is a second table cell in the form of the form so you can see okay so here we have a first text cell you can say that there is the text cell there is a text cell the, the, uh, or you can say that it's a looking like a text or you looking like a label and second one is the detail of the text cell there is the second uh, and this is the entry uh, label first entry cell and you can update this uh, text at run time because this is the entry cell like this and this is the switch cell when we toggle it like this on on off and the last one is the image cell dot net movie image about dot net movie so this is the the same thing you can uh, do with the second uh, table section okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to dot net movie and please don't forget please subscribe my channel if you like this video and don't forget please please subscribe my channel i will help you lots of mm, uh, in in the lots of projects so thanks again thank you very much